Hey YouTube, it is Lucy and Joel. This is a product review. I wanna show y'all what it looks like really quick before we get into the details of it. You can see with the photo that I've inserted the dimensions for the bassinet, this can fold flat or as close to for a bassinet. That way it fits here in this bag for easy portability. So I'm not gonna do it because there's a sleeping baby inside here right now. Yes, but please do not squish our baby. Yeah. There's just a pole in the center here that connects both of the legs. You just lift up on it, it pops right out, and then each one of the legs fold up and over the top of this, and then everything kind of just squishes down together fit inside of the bag. And then it has handles for you to pick it up. It is, I guess, the dimensions, the, the length and width are still there, but the height squishes down. And the reason for that is that the poles that go around the top of the bassinet these right here are still gonna say, it's still gonna stay. Yeah, they, stay. they don't collapse in. Like some cribs, how the whole thing you pull up and it doesn't do that, which I'm glad because I don't like those because I can never freaking get them apart or back together. So, and they pinch I your like fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm talking, I'm gonna have Joel show you that it has a three to 10 degree rocking angle and how to put it in rocking mode. Yeah, these things down here that just flip down and basically you're gonna lift up and just put that down and it makes it a rocker. Now the rocker itself is being held up by the things that you put down and not the wheels, so you can rock it. I will say that our bedroom is a little bit of a tilt because we are above our garage. So if Joel lets go of the bassinet, it's gonna tilt towards us. Well, I think it's because <laughs> I have these, uh, you, these are adjustable as well, and I have them all the way in for when you push it up against the bed. So you can put these further out, and I think it would give it a wider base and not be that way. Maybe, but our bedroom is still at a tilt. And we have super soft cushions. These legs go further out. So there's a button, again, baby's asleep. There's a button you push in right here that goes in these little holes. So you just push it in and out and pull this in and out, and it, it comes out further. So if you want a wider base or a smaller base, the reason we have it pushed in is you can go even further in. It, if it's up against the bed and you're wanting to get it closer, then the legs get in the way. So if you make them not as sticking as far out, then you can get it closer to the bed. I'm gonna do that because little guy is asleep <laughs> and we're kind of enjoying it for as long as we can. This has a removable cover. However, we are not going to remove it just yet. But to remove it, it literally is just an elastic thing that goes all the way around. It, and that's it. It doesn't snap. It doesn't zip. It just goes around the edges of all four and it is nicely. It's like a fitted sheet. Yes. That's a great explanation. It's really easily done. As you can see here on the left hand side, it is a breathable mesh. And on the right hand side, it has a bit of a canopy. This is great for if you have a two-year-old like we do who likes to throw toy trucks and cars, you can actually keep your baby safe. Joel is unzipping it, and the purpose for this is what, Joel? So you can get the baby out, I'm guessing? Huh? I would assume <laughs> so, yes. So on the description, it says, so this is like an insect net, and this shields for sun as well. Yes, so. and that is another great point. Yeah. Absolutely, and if you are outside as often as we are, those who do not know, we are in the great state of Texas, AKA mosquito heaven. So, <laughs> mosquito <hell. laughs> yes, that would be a more accurate depiction, but this is great for us. We use as a bottle pocket, and on the other side, there is currently Just burp cloth. a burp cloth. But it's the same pocket as the one over there. Yeah, it's the same thing. You could use it for whatever you want. Third stage, Jill's Vanna Watton over here. It is a mesh storage area. There is not dividers in there, so you may love it. We currently have a blanket. We have wipes, diapers, all those things that you don't want to get out of bed for. <laughs> you can have easily accessible from your bed. Wheels to the bassinet. These wheels do come with a lock and they pivot which is nice. Pivot. If we Lock. can glide this really quick across our carpeted floors, you can see how easily they move. You can see how easily it slides across even carpet. It is not hard. The wheels are in the unlocked position. This is the bassinet up against our bed. Joel's going to remove the canopy and then he's going to pull down the sides so you can see what it looks like when it is up against the bed. As you can see, 
the canopy comes off super easy. You can even leave it just sitting off to the side. The drop down, you unzip the left hand side and the right hand side. There's a button which you can just fill whenever under the padding you can tell where it is. And you just pull it, the pole comes out and it drops down to the side. It's kind of up against it though. The pole goes down further. Our baby is just kind of in the way, as you can see. I cannot believe he is out. He is just living his best life, y'all. If you do have a reflex baby, there is that tilt on the bassinet. So when you are done feeding them, or if they take a bottle and they're eating while in the bassinet, they can be at that incline. While daddy unwraps the baby, who just woke up from his lovely nap, I did want to mention about the bassinet that it is free of formaldehyde. It's safety approved. It has a sturdy frame. And best of all, Joel, did you have to use any tools to install it? No. It's a no tool installation, guys. Yeah. It makes it easy. You don't need anything to do it. Get the box, get it done, set it up, and you get to live your best life. Bye, YouTube. Until next time. Bye, YouTube.